Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 7 in the Broken Access Control module titled User ID Controlled by Request Parameter. Alright, let's get started. This lab has a horizontal privilege escalation vulnerability on the user account page. So horizontal privilege escalation means that you're able to compromise users of the same privilege level. To solve the lab, obtain the API key for the user Carlos and submit it as the solution. You can log into your own account using the following credentials and we're given credentials of a regular user. All right, so the target goal over here is to obtain the API key for the user Carlos and submit it as a solution. And we're given credentials of a regular user account. So the idea is to exploit the horizontal privilege escalation vulnerability in order to access another user's account. All right, let's get started. Now, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already going through the Burp proxy. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to log in with the regular account that we were given and just analyze how the application works. Hopefully, we'll be able to see a parameter where we could change it in order to escalate our privileges horizontally to the Carlos user. So here's the API key. It's available on the slash my account page. So if we go to home over here, it leads us to the shopping page. If we go to my account, it leads us back to the my account page. Now notice over here, the request to the my account page takes an ID parameter and it takes in the username of the user. Now, this is definitely interacting with the backend, and if the application is not confirming on the backend that the session cookie that is assigned to this user over here is the same one as the user that is requested in the ID parameter, then we could potentially have a privilege escalation vulnerability. So let's send this to repeater and just hit send again. Now, when we're searching for API key over here, you could see the username is for the regular user that we're given. Now let's see if this is actually checked in the backend or if it's client controllable. Because again, if it's client controllable, then we should be able to request the ID of any user on the system. So we're trying for Carlos, hit send. I got a 200 okay, this is already a good sign. And if I look for the API key over here, you could see that the username is Carlos. And so we were able to simply access Carlos's account by changing this ID parameter over here. Now, you might be thinking that this is simple, but this is actually a vulnerability that I found in one of the applications that I've tested. It's been a while since I've found a vulnerability this simple, but I did find it in one of the applications. So this is definitely real world. So let's hit submit solution, enter it over here, hit OK. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. Okay, so we completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.